you. Um, I do see a lot of familiar faces here tonight. I've been lucky to be part of this since it started. Um, and I have to say, I find this event always inspiring and also very moving. And I will also say that I think the winners, I hope the winners that we chose, Fiona and Tony and I, um, will live up to the great legacy that uh, Sidney Hillman created, and I believe that they do. There is something unifying about all of the, the uh, prizes that we're giving out tonight. They're all about ordinary people completely ordinary Canadian people, really, but they're set apart because they've been persecuted, denigrated, neglected, injured, sometimes even killed. But what unites them is that no one is asking why it's happening. In fact, no one's really even noticing. They have no one to speak up for them, no one to stand up for them, no one, that is, except the outstanding journalists that we're honouring here tonight. So with that in mind, it's now my pleasure to talk about a series of reports done at La Presse in Montreal last year, one of our honourable mentions. Now, if you've ever driven in Quebec, as I have, you'll, no you'll notice two things really quickly. First, they drive really quickly. <laughs> and second, the highways are lined with billboards that scream, la vitesse tue, speed kills, and of course it does. So does drunk driving, so does distracted driving, aggressive driving, fatigue. We do a lot of unwise things behind the wheel, all of us, really. In fact, almost 200,000 people are seriously hurt in car accidents each year in Canada. About 2,000 people die. It's so commonplace, it isn't even news. It's just part of the traffic report. Something like a mattress that fell off a truck on the highway that's going to slow you down on your way to work today. It's a strange fact that we come to accept that the cost of having cars and the convenience they bring is that drivers make mistakes and sometimes people die because of it. But what if that isn't entirely true? What if there's something else going on behind all this terrible carnage? That's the question the journalists at La Presse asked and they set about on an unprecedented investigation. They gathered detailed data and mapped all of the serious car accidents in Quebec for six years, 15,000 events. It took months. But what they found was astonishing, almost too disturbing to contemplate. Certain ramps, intersections, roads kept showing up over and over again with a frequency that couldn't just be coincidence, couldn't be attributed to simple driver error. One stretch of highway was the site of 50 serious accidents in that time period, and 13 people died there. And then they found out why. With the help of engineers, urban planners, and professional drivers, they discovered a whole host of inherent dangers. Improperly graded ramps, blind intersections, poor signage, road systems built in violation of the province's own safety codes. What followed were some very difficult conversations with people who had loved ones ripped from their lives violently, suddenly, and senselessly in those accidents. Some of them had been injured themselves in those very places. They were upset, angry, to find out that it wasn't their fault. Their own government had created a trap and they'd simply fallen into it. So now, faced with such damning information, the province of Quebec has promised to set things right. And about that Quebec driving, it's worth noting that Quebec's accident rate is no higher than the rest of the country. In fact, it's right in the middle of the national average. So that's something for the rest of us to think about the next time we hear that someone lost control of their vehicle on a road nearby. But as for the journalists at La Presse, there is gratitude for this remarkable project, a project that no public official had ever thought to undertake. There's also knowledge, knowledge that they may have already pre prevented another needless, heartbreaking injury or death on Quebec's roads. It's hard to imagine a greater achievement, really. Et maintenant, je voudrais dire quelques mots en français aux membres de l'équipe de, 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 de la presse qui sont ici ce soir. D'abord, félicitations. Votre rapport nous a bouleversés. Il est génial, original, et vous y avez consacré beaucoup de temps d'efforts et de ressources, c'est évident. Et ce que vous avez accompli est pas moins de sauver des vies. C'est une réussite sans égale dans la carrière d'un journaliste, j'en suis sûre. Et merci d'avoir pensé à nous. C'est la première fois que nous reconnaissons des candidats du Québec. Nous sommes très fiers de vous présenter ce prix et je, veux, je vous invite à venir nous joindre pour l'accepter. Sylvain Gilbert, Reese Halsey Watkins and Thomas de Lorimier, congratulations. Gabrielle Duchesne, Caroline Toussaint are going to accept the prize. Uh, thank you so much. We're honored to be here. 
Um, every or most young journalist has once covered a story about a car accident and sometimes witnesses tell us that it's not alcohol, it's not speed, but it's the road, that road, that curve that killed. And we wanted to know, is, it, is that true, is that possible? Are some roads that more dangerous than others? The problem was such a, a map of dangerous roads did not exist in Quebec. Uh, government did not have one, police did not have one, or at least did not want to give it us, give it to us. So, so we made our own map, and then we went to visit people and understand what was going on uh, at every every dangerous spot we found. Our investigation took us almost a year from the moment we asked for the. The, the data via uh, access of in information laws until the moment we published. Um, we met with people who lived real tra tragedies and were kind enough to share their stories, uh, horrible stories, terrible stories with us. We also, maybe you know that at La Presse we have a new platform since a few months. We now publish on a tablet and we had to reinvent our way to tell a story for that uh, too tall. I'm too tall. <laughs> I had to. We, we had to reinvent our way to to tell the story, and our bosses were kind enough to give us the time, the space, and the the resources to do that. And finally, we had a great team of data journalists who helped us map. Uh, find the spots and without whom we could not have done the story. So I will let uh, someone of that team explain a bit what we did. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's an honor to be here and um, uh, basically I want to say a few words on behalf of the, the data journalism and multimedia team. Uh, my name is Thomas, uh, this is Rhys and uh, Sylvain. Um, we're the computer nerds who uh, got the uh, the 15,000 lines of data. It's basically a 15,000 line Excel uh, and uh, Sylvain and uh, one of his friends, uh, Pierre, for a few months uh, took every every accident, put it on a map, geocoded uh, the, those accidents. Out of it came a, and then Reese produced a map, uh, which helped the, the reporters uh, to find the stories. Um, and it took months, a uh, few months, uh, and in the end, what happened is that we had a map of dangerous spots. And when Gabriel and Caroline went on the uh, and, and went on the underground, asked mayors, uh, the police, uh, detachments, families, people who lived in those areas, every dangerous spot that we found was verified uh, by those people. So the stories existed, and it's stories and tragedies that couldn't have been told otherwise. If we hadn't uh, done the effort of mapping uh, the, the, these these accidents, um, so I want to thank the uh, the production team, uh, production teams also, graphic designers, interface designers, uh, and everyone who contributed because there's there is a lot of work uh, behind this. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, it's a proof of concept that data journalism is a new form of, of journalism. So. La Presse Plus is a nice way to reinvent uh, a, a news media and to save a newsroom so that we can do more investigative journalism. But we need more stories like this. And today, it's found in the data. And so you need computer nerds like us. So thank you very much. Thank you.